So far in this course, we've applied modifiers to entire objects, but you can also apply modifiers to parts of objects or sub-object selections. There are a couple of ways to do that. First, I'm going to show you the non-destructive way, which allows us to select by volume, and then, for example, delete part of a model. That's done by passing a selection up the stack to be processed. In this case, I want to delete some of the bottom polygons on my monitor stand. If I orbit around with Alt and Middle Mouse button, and turn off the grid with the keyboard shortcut, which is G, we can see there are a bunch of polygons here at the bottom of the stand. If this were intended to be placed into a game engine, or if I had to have many, many, many instances of this model, then I might choose to just optimize this by deleting the polygons on the bottom that no one will ever see. We can just call those out. The modifier stack gives us a way to do that non-destructively. I'll select the monitor stand, and in the modify panel, we see currently at the top of the stack is a bend modifier. We want to add a volume select above that bend. From the modifier list, choose volume select. You've got selection modifiers in their own category at the top here. Volume select. And we see a gizmo around the object. And that's a volume selection gizmo, which we can choose down here. We can choose a sphere or cylinder or whatever. Let's do a box. The selection level up here at the top is object by default. We're selecting the entire object. But in this case, we only want to select certain faces or polygon subobjects. So stack selection level should be set to face. And now, with all of the polygon faces enclosed within that box or gizmo, they're all selected, and they're all highlighted in red. We only want to select the polygons at the very bottom of the stand. So to do that, we'll move the gizmo, go into the volume select sub-object modes, and choose gizmo. And the move tool is activated automatically. Let's move that down in world Z, and just select the parts at the very bottom, and maybe Getting closer, control alt middle mouse, position with the middle mouse. And I want to make sure I don't delete anything that the viewer might see. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of wiggle room here, move the gizmo forward in the y axis, and just make sure I give myself a bit of a buffer so the viewer or player won't see any hole there when this asset is finally rendered. Our selection's been made, and we're still in volume select polygon, but we don't necessarily want to be in gizmo mode. So we'll click gizmo to exit out of there. But we still have a face selection, as indicated by the icon over here. Looks like a square that indicates that at the current level of the stack, we've selected some faces, or at least we're in face sub-object mode. Now we can add a modifier to delete the selected polygons from the modifier list. Scroll down a little bit if necessary, and choose Delete Mesh. And now those polygons have been non-destructively erased. We can orbit around again and investigate. If we need to change what's deleted, all we need to do is go back to the Volume Select modifier. And if we want to see the deletion, we leave Show End Result on. Go back to Gizmo Subobject Mode, and once again move that around to delete parts of the model. OK, I'll exit out of Gizmo subobject mode and go back up to the top of the stack. And that's the technique of deleting polygons non-destructively by passing a volume selection up the stack.